Ladies and gentlemen, all night long, we have little specials uh, for you because it is uh, New Year's Eve. Take a look at this. Our own stage manager, Biff Henderson, with champagne squirting out his ears. Go ahead, Biff. Give it a try. <laughs> One side it comes out of his ear, the other side it looks like it's coming out of his jugular uh -huh. vein. But it's, we'll, we'll get that fine tuned, we'll get that dialed up for it. Every, yeah, all right, let's try it again. Here we go. Yeah. One side yeah. here. Now it's coming out of his undershirt, yeah. but you know, <laughs> it's technology. It's not perfect. We'll keep ah. working on it. Yeah, and pass the savings on to you folks. Ladies and gentlemen, here in my right hand, I have a copy of tonight's top 10 list. Let's go. Uh, The category from the home office in Sioux City, Iowa. Top 10 signs now uh, that you're attending a really bad New Year's Eve party. Top 10 signs you're attending a bad New Year's Eve party. And here to assist us live tonight from the Marriott Marquis in Times Square, the host of Dick Clark's Rockin' New Year's Eve, or Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. Right. <laughs> Just remember this, either way, he's going to be five minutes late. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, there's Dick Clark. Dick, how you doing? Yeah, hi, Dave. Nice to see you. Dick's all bundled up and ready to go. <laughs> Dick's out there now, Paul. Does it make you nervous? He looks cold. He's out getting there. a head start on you. I know. He's going to be in Times Square for the next 48 hours. Don't worry. When, when are you going? I'm right after the show. I'm going out there. <laughs> I stand out there. Yeah, and at what time will you get out of the limo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Top 10 signs you're at a bad New Year's Eve party. Uh, Dick Clark is doing the countdown for us tonight. Here we go. Number 10. Brand of champagne, Dom DeLuise. That's right. Number nine. At midnight, everybody gathers around to watch your Uncle Earl's pants drop. That's right. Number eight. You wake up the next morning wearing a medallion, and there's a note from Al Sharpton that says, I'll call you. You know, that's... I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. That's, that's not the worst thing that could happen. Oh! Um, uh, number seven. You can hear a guy count down before using the bathroom. Number six. Jocelyn Elders is there trying to get herself drunk. Number five. It's 11 o'clock at night and you're watching Roger Ebert play Twister. Number four. Six times in a row, a champagne cork lodges in your trachea. I believe, I believe Dick's under the impression tonight is New Year's Eve. <laughs> I think, I think Dick thinks this is the actual gig. See that? Yeah, I think Dick believes we're just seconds away from 1995. I know. Uh, number three. Is that it? Number three. The so-called party hats are really Letterman's old hair pieces. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, number two. Everyone's gathered around the TV watching that geezer from American Bandstand. <laughs> I'll be surprised if we finish this list before 95. Uh, and number one? And the number one sign you're attending a bad New Year's Eve party? It's over by 9.30. <laughs>